to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen, and today we are testing the Sugar Me Smooth that keeps invading my social medias. I have used a similar thing. You can make it at home. It's just water, lemon, and that's it. Uh, it worked pretty good. I had trouble keeping it the same consistency, so I'm pretty excited about this because sugaring wax is so much easier to use than like hard body wax and stuff like that, which I have tried. I have a warmer and everything upstairs. Not my favorite, but the sugaring wax I thought was really good. So again, this is Sugar Me Smooth. You can look at it, sugarmesmooth.com. This is the body wax, I believe. Yep, body wax. It's $19.99 for a jar. Now the thing is you can reuse a sugaring wax multiple times. Uh, it comes with handy dandy little instructions. Very important about the temperature. Don't have to use any kind of strips with it. You just use, they're like, they're basically like little credit cards. Uh, you hold it like this with your fingers down towards the end, make a swiping motion and it's water soluble. So if you mess up, not difficult to take care of. So I do have myself a bit of a soggy rag here in case I mess up. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll just come around. But I don't particularly care if my legs get hairy, so I thought it was a good time to try it out. A little wooly. All right, let's see what happens. It suggests that it works better in a cool environment and it's always really, really cold down here, so I don't think I'm gonna have any problems, except maybe opening the jar. Oh gosh. There we go. Yeah. I don't wanna make too big of a mess. Even though I'm going to, I don't want to. So I've got some on my fingers. Gone. Easy peasy. Hold the card like this, fingers down towards the end, not like this, not like this, not like this. Hi, Dorian. I don't think you want to be waxed. You should move along. Anyway, so you hold the card like this because you want to have a nice firm pressure. You're going to start with putting the wax down. If it's your fresh wax, you want to leave it there for 10 to 15 seconds to warm up a little bit so it's easier to smooth and you pull against the hair, not with the hair, against it, because when you flick it off, you're going with the hair. So let's, uh, let's dig in here. Oh gosh. Real firm coming out. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorian, you're gonna have to move. So again, we're gonna press it down for 10, 15 seconds so it can get warmed up. So we'll do, we'll do here-ish. So press it down. It'll get more malleable as it warms up. And I do have the directions right here in front of me because you know, you don't wanna accidentally rip off your skin. Dorian's concerned he's gonna leave. Then you start pulling back. You want to make sure your skin's pulled tight. Then you want to spread some more. Yeah, get nice down in there. And you want to spread just a little bit more. So there is a little bit of pain spreading it, but I think my hair might actually be longer than the recommended length, but I have no way to trim it without just shaving it off. So we'll see what happens. And then you want to do 
a wrist flick. You don't want to just rip it off. You're going to flick it, and it might take more than one flick to get it down the end. So. Ah, nice. It's not painless. There is some discomfort, but I wouldn't say it feels like you're getting your hair yanked out. And I think going with the direction of the hair makes a huge difference. So I'll do it again. Nice. And again. Look at that. Here's woolies. Here's nakeds. So there's a little bit of sugar down here. You can just take your sugar and pull off other sugar. So that's real nice and hairy. Real hairy. Let's do it again. So ankles are always a uh, pretty tender spot for me anyways. We'll give that a go. So again, you can reuse the same wax multiple times. Um, I believe it said in this jar, I should be able to do both my legs fully three times, two to three times. Typical jar use, le both legs three times, both arms five times, underarms 10 times each side, feet 12 times, hands 12 times. Earlier I said water and lemon juice, it's water, lemon juice, and sugar. Uh, this has been around for centuries. This is not something new. This is, sugaring wax has been around for ever. All right, again, flicking, fingers down towards the end of the card, get that control. Yeah. Oh, tender. Ooh. Ooh, ow. Ah! Ah! Again, we got a little bit of leftover wax here. Just pick it up. It works really good. For $20, I would rather spend $20 on this than, you know, the $10 on a hard body wax. This is so much more convenient. So much more convenient. And I don't think you guys need to see me do the rest of my legs. I do suggest you try it if you already wax. I'd suggest trying it. I myself much prefer the sugaring wax. Again, I've made it myself at home. You don't have to go out and buy it. It's just a lot more convenient because I never got the same consistency out of my sugaring wax each time I made it. Because, you know, it always ends up a little bit different every time. It's nice to have the consistency. It's smooth. It does take time. It takes effort. Totally worth it. I personally just don't care, so I don't shave my legs regularly. It's not a big deal to me. Good job, Sugar Me Smooth. I approve. That'll be it. I'm gonna keep working on my legs. I don't think you guys need to see that. Bye!